scared me. Sure. And you're looking like a barista. Then you're looking like a nigga. <laughs> I'm about to get big, girl. Um, yeah. I, I might be the right yeah. there with you. That's the fact yeah. got me. And you know what? That's all right. Exactly. Um, but anyways, how you been? I've been so good, actually. Um, uh, been real good. How you been? Now I can tell you're looking like you're um, been eating good too. Um, well, yeah, you look like you've been indulging. <laughs> well. I have been indulging <laughs> in Jesus Christ. I have, because that's what I do. Well, Jesus um, Christ, Krista. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me tell you something about Krista. It's actually mm -hmm. a bit expensive, but I don't use that, actually. We use peanut oil. Well, you don't have to worry about the expense, because you sweat, Krista, darling. That's what happens when you squeeze. <laughs> well, you're looking mighty um, doused in Krista right now. Mm-hmm. And you smell mighty endowed with chicken lard. And you are well endowed. <laughs> oh. But anyways, that was so, huh? That wasn't funny. But anyway, so how um how's your mama doing? You want the truth? Tell me about it. She's got that diabetes again. Damn. Ugh, goodness Damn. gracious. It's got her. Got her like a dog. You know what? That's the issue Sticking with um, your people. Your people do get that diabetes. Um, mm -hmm. It runs me all lineage. That's what I've been saying. It's all that nasty food I be eating. But you know, I, I relate to you in that way. My mama has diabetes too. And thyroid oh. and high cholesterol, high blood pressure. All that, but you know what it is. She's a big one. And then pass it down to you. Now you have high thyroids and high cholesterol and high blood. No, the only thing she passed down to me was testicular cancer. Yeah. And and, yeah. and big ass and what? Big ass testicle. No, that ain't that big. Oh, I don't have that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't have none of those. I may have testicular cancer, but I ain't got no damn testicles. It just runs in my family. What else runs in your family? Clearly no one. Look at us. <coughs> and you know what? You're right, because everybody doesn't need a rhyme. I mean, look at your shape. You're such a figure of a exactly. woman. You don't even so, need a I don't even need a what? You don't even need to run. Oh, I thought you were to say a bra. Which you wouldn't be wrong would you, if you had said that too, because I'm not wearing well, right you, now. They're seated up quite You need more. Probably surround wrap or some other strong reinforcing thing. Yeah. But. Well, you need a whole green. To and you your need stomach, a stomach, not your titties, because you ain't got no titties. Well, you need an ambulance. Because you. <laughs> What? Ever since your mama laid you down in that makeshift hospital bed, I should have known. When she motherfucking shot you out her coochie and you slid about three feet on the ground and had your head all flat in the back like somebody hit you with a reinforced cast iron skillet, I should have known that you were going to be a ride when you grew up. But I didn't know you were going to be like this. Ever since, you know, you think you're hot shit now that you got that beer growth oil. Let me tell you something about me. I am hot shit. I'm a Christian. You hot shit. And that's more. You eat hot shit. You are hot shit. You breathe hot shit. Or at least it smells like it. You're just mad because you can't smell the sweet, sultry clone of your man anymore because I took him and I've been having him eat my tutor. What? what you say? I 
which one? You have more than one. Sure do. You see, when you're a high value Christian, you have plenty suitors. Which one? By high value, do you mean great value? And do you mean by great value, do you mean no value at all? You no, I mean um, high value. Like those men from that podcast, those good Christian men who know what they're talking about. Whenever they're talking about them women who get on here and talk, I mean, get on here and show their little vaginas and all of that. Yeah, they know exactly what they're talking about. It's the only reason that you agree with them is because nobody wants to see your vagina. Well, tell that to your pa, because he begs for it every night. My pa, you know, my pa came home last night for dinner. He sat down at the dinner table, and the first thing he said was, I had to punch some big nigga on the way home. And I didn't know who he was talking about, but now that you tell me that, I realize that you are the big nigga that he had to punch. And you must have showed him that motherfucking D1 anaconda between your legs, and you thought that you were going to eat it up my pa, but you didn't know that my pa doesn't like me. Well, you look just like your pa, because you're quite manly, but let me tell you something about me. Shit. I had something in my brain when you were talking that I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. For sure. Have you ever seen Cory in the house? Huh? Have you ever seen the show Cory no, in the house? No, I ain't never had no television in the house. Man. Huh? And if I did, I wouldn't watch no TV show like that because that sounds like a colored program and I wouldn't be indulging in nothing like that. Almost colored and shaded in as between your thighs. Almost as colored and shaded in as that fake ID that you used to get into that club that one time and then they kicked you out because they got you in the um the men's restroom sucking cock. It was the women's restroom because I couldn't get into the men's restroom. So you're a homosexual? I am. How am I a homosexual? Because I was. Sucking you were in the restroom. women's restroom sucking? What? It ain't no man in there. Well, I brought the men in there. You're sick. You're just a sinner by all facets. Don't be trying to act all high and mighty, Terry. I saw that v that VHS type of you and what you were doing with those men. You were throwing no, up that... Dis- nothing to me. One thing, the thing the- about me is I- if I was doing anything with the man, it was definitely... You had that camp. same dress on with that skid mark in the back and I saw all those men running in and out that bathroom. <laughs> Wait, imagine. Ew. <laughs> imagine what? somebody with a skid mark on their dress. Girl, in the hot summer day. Oh, okay. Well, I know you know a lot about that, don't you? I don't know anything about that, nigga. Well, you're the one. With, you're quite descriptive. Well, yeah, because I saw the VHS tip of you. No, you <laughs> ain't seen nothing of me. The only video I have out there is with Georgia, and that ain't no VHS. That's nasty, and I wish that no, you would. Is making me um money. Doesn't make me much though, because I was just telling them that I actually um have um get good get my lie. Get my fucking lie. You have the gout. I was about to say you have the gout. No, I don't have the gout. Oh, but I do. Um, Not anymore. I had a job. I I got a job at the um. Really the wrong time. Oh, <laughs> yeah. They're saying it's, it's freezing up the storm down here. Um, <laughs> we didn't get that to begin. Uh, but yeah, it's just so crazy to me. Hello. I can hear you. Oh, I'm just saying. I just, um, you know, sometimes I say hello. Because I'm, um, I'm thinking in the room. I'm feeling. I'm putting feelers out there in the room to see if Jesus is still here. Yeah. 
bitty chicken shack that you stay that you stay in is not spacious at all, and I know you feel very claustrophobic in there because of your back area. And I don't mean your derriere; I mean your motherfucking shoulders. Well, the thing about it is, Negro, I actually um, <laughs> the echo in my house is because this house is so big. I know you don't know nothing about no big houses because there's no in the echo in the house. Huh? Did you call me a Negro? I sure did. And that's what you are. I imagine if that I uh put a good nice ham hock on a hot cast iron skillet and I sizzle that gristle, that you would resemble the gristle that I sizzle. The gristle? <laughs> From a chicken or a turkey? Yeah. Turkey. I'm thinking turkey too. Because uh, you know it's got yeah. that little brown bit. You know I got that brown bit right here too. So why is it always oh. shiny right here? <laughs> so you know um, I probably resemble that. But you know what you resemble? What? A chocolate teddy gram. You know the exactly. one they used to give you in school whenever you're taking that test, test hey. or the star test. And you know what you resemble? What? A big bowl full of hard charred baked beans. <laughs> And you're built like a bag of beans. And you're oh, built good. like a can of beans. And you're built like a lima bean. <clears throat> and you're built like the hot dog they put in pork and beans. And you're built like a black emphasis on black IP. And you're I'm built like a black emphasis on black and mild. Well, I know you know a lot about black and miles. You used to run to the store and get those black and miles from your mama. And because they, they gave it to you even though you were seven years old. to get her free black and miles and you run up to that store and get that black and miles and you ask him for a free little honey bun because you couldn't you couldn't resist them little Debbie cakes and then he said go ahead and grab you one because he knew you were starving because he knew you didn't eat for the last five months I actually know about those black and miles very well because when I went over your house and you lifted me your arm and I said oh what the fuck is that smell my mama said that's the smell of motherfucking black and miles because when your mama gets mad at you she puts her black and miles out on your underarms which is why your underarms are so dark let us see them. My underarms are actually not dark. You know? Let us see them. Let me see them first. Because I don't know. <laughs> Let me get a peek. No, my arms ain't dark. <laughs> I don't think dark <laughs> over here is uh your spirit. Between your teeth. No. Nope. Oh. That's called contour. That happens when you have something there you know what I mean you contour with a sharpie no contour natural contour that's called grip oh no I'm, I'm a woman wings. I saw you I'm chicken wings you're just mad because you couldn't afford a bale of chicken wings and a I bell. ate it in front of you <laughs> Uh -huh, bitch, I just bell. realized I said bell. You sick freak. There ain't a bell of chicken leg. <laughs> bitch, do you know how big a bell is? Yes. Yeah. And I sneeze. eat that every morning, every morning for breakfast. Sure do, because that's how I you know that you do. Thick. Uh huh. Thick like the ends of that wig. Thick like your mama's behind. But thick not like your mama's vagina. With cellulite, and it goes in five different directions. You got them saddlebacks. Thick like the callus on your gooch because you refuse to wash after you shit. <laughs> <laughs> 